What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy Young Dub coming at y'all with another video here. Uh, what y'all see in front of you is another one of those boxes, uh, Fragile Handle with Care. Uh, so that should already let y'all know uh, what's in it. Uh, like I said, obviously it'll be in the title, so might as well just go ahead, get that little trusty dusty out and go for it here. So, all of this stuff in front of you, well, you can't see anything but that box really. Uh, but moving along, uh, you'll see some more stuff in front of you. All of this stuff here will be for my 2022 build, uh, which might feature some more products other than Tempano. But we'll get to that in just a minute here. Let's go ahead and pop the top on this. If I can find the right part to get this razor into. I think, yeah, I got it running right in. All right, boom. Y'all, okay, I'm giggling because, man, these are probably going to be some of the biggest horns I've ever had in my life, man. So, um, full story, I believe it was last week I started doing my due diligence of me chilling in the house, um, unfortunately with that cell phone in my hand, thumbing through some websites, and, um... I think it was, yeah, Facebook door for, Doors for Days. Um, if y'all are in the mids and highs, uh, definitely recommend that group. Obviously, there's going to be, if you're kind of fresh to it or you ask a question that they think, um, I guess you should supposedly be an expert on, there's going to be some pushback. Uh, you know, it's always got to be somebody on the internet that's going to come be negative or uh, try to make fun of you or whatnot, man. But um, I will still recommend Doors for Days if you're in the mids and highs. Um, so timpanel.com or Tempano Audio, I don't know what the website is. Um, yeah, there it is. Might be able to see it better on this one. Tempanoaudio.com. Um, that's the page on my phone that's constantly up. Um, I don't delete or swipe out of it because I'm always buying something off of it, man. So, um, y'all know I got the four DS18 DR2 horns. Uh, obviously, putting the 10 panel wave guys on them because uh, everything's going to be 10 panel outside of those horns. Um, but I got to mess around looking around at um, some of the people's bills and whatnot. And prior to looking at those postal doors for days, I had actually bought these. Uh, so, like I said, it was a Saturday Saturday night deal. I'm just down here, finally got the pen and the pad. And I was like, okay, man, I need some horns for other spots in the car. Um, so I bought these and then I think maybe 10 minutes after I purchased these, I went on doors for days. Uh, you can obviously go on Facebook, put in uh Tempano or whatever. And all of these things started popping up. So now that I've got these in the house, um, I think these might be bigger than I expected. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these out the box. This time we seem to be good to go. Uh, obviously you see the product boxes and I love this bubble wrap. This stuff here might be able to take a bullet and keep going, man. But let me get these jokers off the box. Obviously, we'll flip the top on them. Um, do a more in-depth look. Just a moment. All right, y'all. So we got these jokers out of the cardboard box. Uh, obviously, you can see the two product boxes here. These things are huge. Uh, <laughs> they're huge and they're heavy, man. So... Um, Let's go ahead and take a look. The mounting depth is 7.32 inches. Uh, cutout is five and a quarter. Overall size, uh, six by six by seven and a half. I'm just gonna round it up. Um, down there you see 200 watts, uh, continuous power, 100 watts RMS, eight ohm, sensitivity of 110 dB, man. These things are going to scream and get ridiculously loud. Uh, the throat diameter, two inch exit. Uh, so we should be able to do some damage. 
And let me see. I'm going to spin it around to make sure I don't mess around and open up the wrong part of the box here. Probably should have looked at that when I took them out. But they don't pop top on the top of the box. So I'm going to just go ahead and rip the side out and see what happens. This looks like a good spot to start with. Oh, I guess they photo from the bottom. Okay, let me scoot it down. Um, man, this thing is massive. Let's do the other one too. So, more of the same. We got the little tin panel uh, stickers. Uh, this one is kind of off the side, so it's kind of stuck. Big boy. That adhesive is off to the side, but we'll just throw that over there. Uh, same thing with this one. That adhesive is kind of off the paper there, but we'll throw that to the side. Uh, so I'm assuming this is probably going to be more of the product literature, which it is. Tim Penno, welcome to the family. I uh, got plenty of those. Um, that's not important, <laughs> but this right here most certainly is. Jesus, man. I just had to add to cart and get these, man. Let's go ahead and get them out the product box and see what I didn't mess around and got myself into. You know it's crazy when you gotta use two, two hands to get a horn out. All right, set her down there. We'll move this box out the way. Same thing for this one. Let's grab her out of here. Oh, she's kind of stuck in there. What have I done? What in God's name? <laughs> with the humongous horns, man. All right, let me get about the plastic so we can get a more in-depth look. Matter of fact, I'll probably grab those other horns, too, so we can... Uh, Kind of do a size comparison because these things are freaking humongous. All right, <laughs> like I said, man, we got two humongous horns in front of us, man. These are the uh, TPT DH2000 Pros. Um, so, like I said, 200 watts continuous, 100 watts RMS. Uh, let's go ahead. I don't even know. Okay, I'm gonna say I don't even know where to start here. Um, yeah, move that one out the way because we will do that comparison. So, what I've been told is that these things are huge and 1000% accurate on that. Um, these are the um, tympanal horns that are made. Uh, to do a frequency response of kind of a mid-range and upper level. So these may be able to play like 1,500 to, I mean, you can obviously play them up to 20K. Um, but as far as what I've been informed is they can play possibly down to 800 hertz up to around 1,500. So it just, or 15,000, it just depends on um you tune in and what you're trying to do with them i just want these things to be extremely loud which they're probably gonna be because this is my fist my fist goes into them that's a whole lot of opening for a whole lot of music to come out of there man so let me flip them up show y'all the back i mean just look at that magnet man Driver plus horn, 200 watts. Like I said, 200 watts continuous, uh, eight ohm. They're both eight ohm drivers now, and they're heavy. The craziest thing that I've done here, uh, I've got these two, and I was actually thinking about doing two more. So luckily what I did is I had, um, I can't, whatever the other model number is, I can't remember right now off the top of my head, uh, but they got another one of these. It's kind of the same thing, to, um, but the throat, I think it's still a two inch uh, throat on it, but it's like, you know, a little bit less on the mounting depth. That's another one of those deals where I've seen that on somebody's bill. And the guy had a bunch of 10 inch, um, I think the TPT something, they were kind of like that mid base. Y'all can kind of see back there, the TPT MB12. 
uh, I think it was the 10 inch version of that uh, or something similar to it. He had three tens in every single door of his car. So all four doors of his car. And he had the smaller one of these in the horn version in the doors. And to me, the throat exit looked about the same uh, size as the mounting depth as those tens. And that's another thing that I've been hearing as well. Like, man, if you get these or the ones that the, other, the smaller ones, uh, they kind of have the same mounting depth as a 10 inch uh, speaker. So definitely uh, want to take a look into that. I think I might go ahead and purchase them and kind of find out where I want to go with them. But we'll wait and see on that. And <laughs> like I said, I've got these DS18 uh, DR2 horns. Obviously went ahead and put the 10 panel waveguide on it. Uh, Cause like I said, everything's gonna be 10 panel here uh, for 2022. So, got the magnets dancing here. Let's go ahead and stand those up and just take a look here. If that's not a grade A size comparison, I don't know what is and what isn't. <laughs> that should let y'all know exactly uh, what's going on here as far as frequency responses. These here are made to play those higher frequencies. They can do a little bit, a little bit of the mid range as well, but they're made to play higher. Uh, so these will kind of be your mid range high frequencies. These will definitely be kind of on the more of the higher end of the, of the mid range spectrum and then play higher, as, you know, up to like those 15,000, 20,000 hertz, all that type of deal. And obviously, back over there, you can kind of see them. The TPT ST25 Super Tweeters, those are definitely for uh, the higher frequencies, man. So, y'all know the deal, man. Like I've been saying past couple videos, somebody's ears are going to be bleeding, man. <laughs> they won't be mine. I might do it for a little bit just for like tuning purposes and whatnot, man. But if I find somebody kind of like I did this year and I should have... If I'd have been thinking, I would have made a video of that as well. I was basically getting people. I had all the DS18, uh, the EXL 10-inch. Uh, I had all four of these going. Uh, and it was type of one of those type of deals where it was like, hey, man, if you're willing to get in the car and sit in that back seat along that wall for the whole, um, I think it was like three minutes and some change on the song, I'll give you 20 bucks. And I'll probably up to Annie on this one and say, hey, if you can sit in the back of that car letting all of this stuff scream in your face for the whole length of a song, probably three minutes of change. I'll probably do the same song I did last year. I'll go ahead and give you 50 bucks. <laughs> so we'll try that and see what happens, man. But yes, so y'all, hey, 2022. There's no other way to say it other than somebody's ears are gonna be bleeding, man. So just a moment, let me move all this stuff back. Um, gonna pull some of the previous product that I got over here and uh, Kind of let y'all know what's going on with the channel, man. In just a moment. All right, folks. Uh, so, like I said, man, I was going to do uh, an update on the channel here as far as uh, the channel itself. So, I got some news, man. So, hopefully, y'all seen in the um, community tab right here on the channel, your boy has teamed up um, with MVX. Uh, so, make sure y'all go over to MVX.com. Um, if you're looking to purchase... Those grade A uh, VCW subwoofers, go ahead and get you a pair of those. Uh, if you want some wire, um, the speakers, the whole nine. Obviously, I got some stuff coming from them. Uh, so I will do an update once that stuff uh, gets into the lab here, man. But the previous video, not to keep dropping my man's name, uh, but I referred to uh, my guy, Subwoofer King. Uh, definitely subscribe to his channel once again. Uh, but he had did an unboxing video on these speakers right here in front of you. Uh, the NPX uh, 65-8. Uh, these are the 8 ohm version of those speakers. Uh, go to the video right prior to this one. Uh, you'll see the unboxing that I did on these. Um, but when I made that video and I said it, I was like, man, the sale or the purchase that I made on these was directly from his video. Uh, if he had not did the unboxing on these, I wouldn't have even known that these things exist. Uh, for somebody like myself, I spend a ton of time. And when I say a ton of time, I mean a ton of time on the internet, uh, looking at speakers and stuff like that, man. It's kind of, um, it's, I mean, well, 
I was gonna say it's kind of based on speakers and whatnot, man, but it's it's really all over the place. I look at speakers, I look at wire, I look at RCA cables, I look at distribution, um, fuse holders, you name it, man, anything. Uh, so for me to spend the amount of time that I do on the internet looking at car audio products, uh, the fact that I didn't know that these speakers existed was absolutely crazy. Uh, so like I said in that video, man, due to the fact that he did an unboxing video and said, hey, you know, I got these new speakers in from SCAR. Uh, they seem pretty nice. I was like, man, they intrigued me. And once again, like I said in that video, curiosity killed the cat. So I had to go find them and make the purchase uh, so I could get them here in my hands and play with them myself. Now, uh, I told my man, I said, you know what? SCAR should kick you down something um, for my sale. Uh, because once again, like I said, if it wasn't for his video, I wouldn't have probably wouldn't have bought these things here probably the most definitely wouldn't have bought these speakers man so um another thing i said i don't care if a video has a hundred views or a hundred thousand at the end of the day marketing works man uh when you see stuff and you like you know i'm in the market for some speakers i'm not sure which speaker um but then you get somebody that you kind of trust and you're like okay man if he's saying that product is legit i'm gonna go ahead and purchase it um or if I'm just looking for something, um, don't know where I'm going with it, and I see somebody that I follow, and they sway me to go that route. It's like, okay, well, if he bought that product, then maybe I should go ahead and run with those uh, and go from there, man. So marketing works, man. Whether, like I said, it's 100 views or 100,000, at the end of the day, if somebody as simple as me, small-time YouTuber, uh, gets on here, purchases a product like we just did with those, Hughes TPT DH2000 uh, Pro horns uh, from Timpano. Um, with the amount of Timpano products I've been purchasing and doing the videos on, I don't have access to their spreadsheets, man, but I'm pretty sure uh, a video or two has made a purchase uh, from my unboxing videos for people to at least, at least drive traffic to the website and say, hey, you know, let, let me check out these Timpano products. Uh, I know that guy, he's kind of crazy when it comes to car audio. Uh, he'll buy anything and put it anywhere in the vehicle. Uh, so let me go take a look and just see what their products are like. Same thing with the SCAR stuff. Um, Y'all see me with these MPX 65s now. You see me previously with the uh, FXX speakers. So yes, these um, bigger car audio companies, they do a lot for themselves as far as like marketing. SCAR had uh, the ad come out over the summertime with Floyd Mayweather. Obviously, Floyd Mayweather has a whole different type of vehicle fleet uh, than what a lot of us have. Uh, but at the end of the day, if he's willing to put Scar Audio in there, um, that's, you know, more and more of that marketing. Like, hey, if Floyd Mayweather's willing to put that in his Bentley or, I don't know, $200,000, $500,000 car, maybe I should take a look at their products and go from there, man. So, uh, like I said, at the end of the day, marketing works. And I know it for sure uh, because... At the end of the day, I get greedy. We all eat, yes we do. But sometimes I'll be at work and I'm like, you know what, when I get off of work tonight, I'm gonna go get me a cheeseburger. Don't know what burger, uh, but as I'm riding around or driving around in my truck and I hear the ad for Burger King come up eight times and by the time I get off of work, I'm like, yeah, I want a burger. Since they've done all their marketing promos, now it pops into my head. You know what, I'm gonna go to Burger King tonight. Could have went to McDonald's, could have went to Hardee's or Charles, or what was it, Carl's Jr., I think, West Coast, um, in and out it just depends on where you're at, but obviously the major chains, Burger King, McDonald's, uh, runs and stuff like that, I'm like, man, I could have went to McDonald's or whatever, but since I kept hearing that Burger King ad, now I'm driving down the street my personal vehicle, I'm like, okay, I gotta go get a burger, oh, I want Burger King because they hammered it in my head from having that promo run every commercial break and whatnot, man, so... Like I said, at the end of the day, whether you get 100 views on here, 100,000, million, whatever, marketing works. So, yes, your boy has partnered up with NVX Audio. Uh, so, please, like I said, make sure y'all head over to NVX.com. You can use my discount code, Audi15, O-U-T-T-Y-1-5. Audi15, man, you get a hell of a discount, 15% off, uh, 25, any order that's $25 and up. Uh, and then they're free shipping, uh, $50 and up, man. So if you're in the market for some speakers, maybe you're not looking to go pro audio, pro audio 
Um, if you're just looking to replace your door speakers or anything like that, they still come in at 100 watts RMS. <laughs> and they look like some real nice stuff, man. So, uh, like I said, I got some stuff coming in from them. Uh, once it hits the lab, I'll go ahead and do an unboxing. And, you know, like I said, man, your boy's been feeling in a given mood. We'll be definitely doing a giveaway. Definitely be doing a giveaway uh, as soon as that stuff gets in here, man. So, make sure y'all take advantage, man. Audi 15, that is my discount code. Uh, y'all get on that. Go, go buy some stuff. <laughs> I always say that. I don't care where you go. Go buy some stuff, man. MVX, they came through. Uh, they showed me some love. I definitely appreciate that, man. Uh, proud to announce that we got that partnership, man. So head over to MVX.com, Audi 15, get a discount on your stuff. Don't pay full price. Why would you do that when I can help you out, man? So stay tuned. Um, I'll, I kept, I always say it and I'll keep saying it. There's going to be more and more updates for the channel. I've got, let's see, I think two boxes laying around. Uh, another box on the way. Uh, I got a whole another setup of a table. Like this table is huge. Y'all can't see it um, within the frame. This table is a huge piece of MDF. I think it was a plank oven. I, I had the, um, I got it from Lowe's. I had them cut it in half. And the other half of the table is over that way. Uh, with car audio products in a whole bunch of cardboard boxes, man. So I got stuff to give away. I got stuff to install, uh, kind of going back and forth of, if, you know, if I should start doing it this fall and already have it good to go, we'll figure out what I'm going to do with that. And as I'm saying that I'm looking over in that direction where that table is at over there. I also have a whole bookshelf full of DS 18 stuff, man. So, um, We'll figure, we'll figure out what to do with all this stuff, man. But uh, I can't have it enough, man. Thank you to MVX. Uh, like I said, please, for the love of God, man, y'all make sure y'all head over to MVX.com. Buy some stuff. Use my promo code, Audi15, man. Uh, so, might as well say it. 2021, if your mirrors ain't shaking, damn it, you got taken. These might not be for 2022. Let's move that stuff out the way. All of that right there, that mid bass, that pro audio, those super tweeters, uh, these humongous TPT DH2000 pro horns, that's definitely for 2022. So y'all can already see it on the table here. If your mirrors ain't shaking, damn it, you got to take it, man. It's your boy, Young Dub. Y'all have a great day weekend, man. Once again, go to MVX.com. Audi 15 is the promo code, man. Y'all have a great day weekend, man. I'm out of here. Stay positive. Hey everybody, it's your boy Young Dub here, man. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Just know that your thumbs are appreciated. Make sure you hit the like button and the notification bell so you'll see the videos when they pop up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel for the best unboxing videos in car audio, man. Thank you all for watching the video. I'll see you on the next one.